Teacher Net, and welcome back to our Statistics and Probability class. We have been talking about discrete random sampling, its probability distribution, and the mean and variance. In this video lesson, we will focus on another random sampling which is continuous random sampling. To be specific, we will discuss about the normal curve distribution. Let us begin with defining a normal random variable. Normal random variable is one of the most commonly observed continuous random variables. Its probability distribution is called normal distribution. Normal distribution or normal curve consists of a very large number of cases. And the normal probability distribution has some properties. These are, first, the distribution curve is bell-shaped. The curve is symmetrical about its center. The mean, median, and mode coincide at the center. The width of the curve is determined by the standard deviation of the, distribu the distribution. The curve is asymptomatic to the baseline or to the x-axis which means the graph does not touch the x-axis. Lastly, the area, the curve, under the curve, or the area under the curve is 1 or 100%. It represents the probability or proportion or percentage with corresponding sets of values. Moreover, there is so-called standard among the normal curves. The standard normal curve is a normal probability distribution that has a population mean, mu equals 0, and a population standard deviation, sigma equals 1. The x-axis or baseline are divided into units with a standard deviation as the interval or distance between each pair of units. The figure beside me indicates that the area under the curve from negative 1 to 1 or from 1 standard deviation below the mean to 1 standard deviation above the mean, the area under the curve is 0. 6826. It further shows that the area under the curve from negative 2 to positive 2 or from two standard deviations below the mean to two standard deviations above the mean, the area under the curve is 0 0.9544. And from negative 3 to 3, it is 0. 9974. Recall that the curve is asymptomatic to the x axis. Though the area under the curve is 1 or 100%, the area under it from 3 standard deviations below the mean to 3 standard deviations above the mean is not 1 but 0 0.9974. We will continue knowing more about the normal curve in the next video lesson. Until next time!